We hear a lot of stories about Asia. One, Asia is a country. An old roommate of mine, a white girl from Rhode Island once asked me, so what are you? Filipino. Vietnamese. Japanese. Oh, I thought you were Asian. Two, Asians don't speak English good. Three, Asians are not artistic in any way. They only understand math and science. Four, we know where all the best Asian restaurants are because we have circle red stickers on our foreheads that say Yelp. Five, Asian people are really just Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Six, we don't deal with discrimination of any kind because we're the closest thing to a perfect minority. Where does this shit come from? I grew up addicted to instant ramen, and one day a blue package caught my eye. Oriental flavor, said the label. Wait, so I can eat a continent? I never understood what Orientalism meant until I got older. The way European colonists of the 1800s justified their invasion of Asia. The yeah! Jews of the Orient as a natural land full of uncivilized people. Exotic, and rotten, just waiting for penetration. Orientalism is the reason we hear comments like, All Asians look the same. Asian guys are indatable. And see store signs across America advertising Oriental rugs. We don't want to buy your thick woolly blanket statements. Or eat at Asian fusion restaurants whose cheesy fonts are made of dancing chopsticks. I did not even learn how to use chopsticks until I was 15 because they're not a part of Filipino culture. So to the person at the party who told me, I love your oriental eye light. To my mom who told me, small eyes are ugly and I should feel lucky to have large ones. To my friends who said, you're pretty for an Asian girl. Are these really compliments? Disclaimer, you might already know this, but we need to tell you again. Asia is not a country. It is a continent with 4.4 percent billion people, 60 percent of the world's population, and 48 countries. We're not invisible. 